All right, <clears throat> didn't really get too far into this today. Let me do this example for you. It's the same situation you'll see on the test, like exactly. I give you the wavelength already here in this green box, 454 nanometers. Um, and then I want you to find these values. So for the line, calculate its frequency. So frequency, you'll remember, is this little V right here. So we're going to use these equations, but I need to rewrite it for frequency. So frequency equals C over lambda. C is the speed of light. And for this problem, I would use nanometers for sure, since this gave me the length in nanometers. So 3 times 10 to the 17th is the speed of light. The nanometers, or wavelength, I should say, was given to me in the problem. So it's 454. I type that into my calculator, and you end up with 6.61 times 10 to the negative, sorry, positive 14th. So that would be my frequency. So that would be S, oh shoot, S to the negative 1. All right. The energy of the photon, um, I would use E. Oh, boy, this has been doing this a lot. I would, oh, why are you doing this to me? E equals H V where h is Planck's constant. Planck's constant is 6.63 times 10 to the 34th. All right, or negative 34th, sorry, negative 34. The frequency I just found is right up here. So that would be 6.61 times 10 to the 14th. And if I type that into my calculator, let's see, I already did this. It was 1.49 times 10 to the negative 17, if I type that all in correctly. All right. Um, that seems a little off, but I'll double check. All right. <clears throat> An energy of the mole. So this is joules. Uh, so now, energy of one mole. Anytime we talk about a mole, which we've done for a lot now, one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd of whatever I'm talking about. So for this problem, it means I have that many photons. So to find the energy, I take the energy of one. So I take 1.49 times 10 to the negative 17, and I multiply one by how many there would be in one mole, which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And I end up with 8967148. Eight, nine, eight. Eight, nine, eight joules. All right, I can also call that, if I felt like, 8967.148 kilojoules. You don't have to unless it asks you to make that. All right, then what color is this photon? The color is pretty simple. You have this rainbow right here, or spectrum. It says it's at 454, so it's right around here in the teal or light blue. I don't know what you'd call it. All right, and then letter B Based on your knowledge of the Bohr model, would you expect this to have come from a large or small? We haven't learned it yet, but 400 nanometers means high energy. High energy comes from a large fall. Okay, hopefully that helped.